Hello and welcome to the Destination Sailing Channel. I'm Carla. And I'm Simon. And we are from the YouTube sailing channel Sailing Ocean Fox. Over the past three years we've sailed over 25,000 miles on our catamaran through the Mediterranean, across the Atlantic and the Caribbean. In this series we will be looking at some of our favourite islands, towns and remote caves we have visited during our adventure. This will give you a fresh insight on your next destination, what to expect on arrival, places to stay, things to do and how to find those all important provisions, from propane to bananas. So let's start with this week's location, Bermuda. Yes, and we last visited that uh, there in uh, 2020 on our way back across the Atlantic. And absolutely love it. Absolutely loved it. Um, it it's just stunningly beautiful. Uh, I, I can't, I haven't got enough words really to yes. describe it. Yeah. So, yeah. Yes. Okay, so Bermuda lies around about 750 nautical miles from the Bahamas. So there's around about a sort of five or six day journey at your average sort of um, six knots. Uh, it's about a thousand miles from uh, Antigua and Barbuda, which is another jumping off point. And if you are crossing the Atlantic, uh, the run line to the Azores, to Horto, is around about 1,800 miles. So it's basically right in the middle on its own yes. with nothing around it. Yes. So you, you mustn't miss it if you're going there, yeah. if you see what I mean. Um, it's shaped like a kind of a fish hook. Hook, yeah. yeah it's, uh, it's built up of um, seven islands. Uh, which are all linked together with different bridges, and that's the main island. But in total, there's around 181 islands and islets that uh, make up the little archipelago. It's a, it's um, a dormant um, volcano, and there is a massive, great big offline reefs uh, mm -hmm. going around it. So uh, yeah, you have to be a little bit careful, a little bit tricky. It covers an area of 21 square miles, so it's not actually that big, and it is home to 71,000 people. Yeah. It's yeah. very low-lying. Yeah. Uh, the highest point is Town Hill, which is 255 feet. So you have to be a little bit careful, you don't uh, miss it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's possible, I'm sure people have missed it. <laughs> yeah. So the language is English, it is a language as it is uh, the British Overseas Territory. It is, that's correct, so it's the Red Ensign. Uh, defaced is the courtesy flag that you need to fly. Yes. So regarding COVID, we were there during the initial COVID uh, outbreak. Uh, best checked on the noon site for all the requirements yep. at the moment. Good old noon site and yeah. find out what's going on. We were actually in quarantine for 14 days, which no, no, turned into 19. 19. <laughs> uh, we were there forever. Yeah. And then they gave us a COVID test and uh, after the results of that we were free to, we were free to go. move around. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the weather in Bermuda is tropical rainforest, quite interesting uh, type of climate. The islands may experience modestly cool temperatures in January and February and it does lie in the hurricane belt from June to November and my friend Chris has uh, had quite a few hurricanes go through there. Yeah, yes. yeah. Bermuda was discovered in the early 1500s by Spanish explorer Juan de Bermudez. Bermuda had no indigenous population at the time of its discovery nor at the time of the initial British settlement a century later. Yeah, uh, so it's always been British. Um, in some interesting facts about Bermuda, there are no rivers or fresh lakes on Bermuda whatsoever. So the only source of fresh water is uh, from rain uh, or from uh, uh, sort of um, lenses, they call them, which is like underground lakes, mm -hmm. small underground lakes. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, consequently to that, um, all the houses have a kind of uh, stepped roof painted white, which was originally lime, mm -hmm. and uh, the, therefore they collect the water off the roof and put it into a holding tank in the basement. Yeah, that makes Bermuda very, very special because the white roofs, every house has yeah. a white roof Everybody. and very colourful houses. So it is amazing, beautiful. It is the most yeah, beautiful island yeah. and it makes it uh, look so tidy. It does, it okay. absolutely does. And a lot of houses, uh, most of the houses are painted a bright colour as well, aren't yes, they? Like yeah. pink or yellow yeah, or yeah, blue. Yeah. Um, and uh, consequently, it really set off with the white roofs, which yeah. makes it look very special because very, there's no, very. I haven't, we didn't see any other Anything like that. Like anywhere that. there. No. Uh, when Bermuda was discovered, it was uh, mainly forest of the Bermuda cedar tree uh, with mangroves and marshes around the shores. And actually now it's um, sort of palm trees and tropical. Yeah. No, very lovely. Yes. Lovely, yeah. The only mammals on the island at the time uh, of discovery, there were five different breeds of bats. Bats. And that's it. <laughs> that's the only thing that was alive on the island is uh, 
five different breeds of bats. So that's some interesting facts about Bermuda. Yes. So Bermuda dollar uh, is it is fixed to, at one to one to the US yep. dollar. Yeah. Uh, no, very colourful notes they have. Yes, beautiful uh, notes. With Queen Elizabeth on them. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> uh, the time zone is minus four hours UTC. So uh, that's not too bad really. And uh, the main city is Hamilton. Rather nice uh, Hamilton is. And the second city is St George's. Yes. Uh, so navigation. Call Bermuda Radio on the channel 16 as soon as you are in range. They will ask your position and estimate the time of arrival in St. George. And they are the most helpful people. Yeah, in the very, pleasant, very, very pleasant. Very pleasant. In fact, we're just going to hear a little bit of our initial call to Bermuda Radio, which was in the early hours of the morning. Bermuda Radio, Bermuda Radio, this is your Ocean Fox. Ocean Fox, over. Ocean Fox, it is uh, Bermuda Radio. Uh, good morning. Understand you are uh, inbound for uh, Bermuda. Uh, the local time here is 0544. Uh, what, what's your ETA over? We're 10 miles west, southwest of Gibbs Hill and uh, to the lighthouse. So, voyage. Region B, so the green square top boys will be on the left as you enter from the ocean. That's it, yep. So uh, you, you, the check-in all takes place in St George, St George's, sorry. Uh, I understand it is possible, according to the pilot book, to check in in Hamilton, but you have to do that by uh, pre-arranging it. And quite honestly, I don't think they're that keen on the idea. Um, you do have to fill in a pre-arrival questionnaire uh and obviously there's a covid questionnaire at the one at the moment uh and that you can get off the um mar bermuda ops uh website i think they call it mar ops we, we'll put a link in the description below and you have to email that in advance of your journey it has to get there about five days before you get there they really appreciate if you do that before yes before yeah. arrival. i'm not sure they would uh, send you away but um it would, yeah. would save an awful lot of uh, information over the vhf radio yeah uh, you enter uh, St George's um, through what they call Town Cut. So this is on the east of the island and uh, you kind of go in through some voyage and then if you're not careful you can easily take the one track going off to the right which takes you uh, over to Hamilton. So you just need to kind of be a little bit careful there. They kind of split at a very uh, broad angle. And uh, then you go through the Town Cut and uh, then you can follow the red starboard boys as you go round uh, the anchorage of uh, Covid Bay and uh, the customs house and immigration is a sort of creamy yellow building on a very small island but when you actually start to look at it you don't realise it's an island no, and you can get no. round the back and there's a little wooden dock there isn't it and uh, there's a sort of um, uh, lifeboat safety boat big thing parked up uh, just in front of you uh, and yeah. that's the spot to go yeah. yes so uh, vets, uh, there is loads of vets in the island. Uh, I'm sure they will be very expensive. <laughs> everything's expensive in Bermuda. <laughs> because everything is expensive in yeah. Bermuda. So, um, I, but they, they don't don't require you to go and take your pet to the no, vet. No, no, no. 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 Yeah. Uh, likewise with healthcare, likewise, there's yeah. there's ample healthcare on the island, but um, it is actually uh, going to be really expensive. So uh, make sure don't go and have anything routine done. Yeah, <laughs> wouldn't want to do that in Bermuda. No. So, dinghy docks. Uh, there is a dinghy dock in St George, opposite the customs house. Yep. So uh, St George's is the sort of biggest uh, anchorage or the main anchorage uh, in in on in Bermuda, and uh, yep, they've got one there. Uh, the other two places which you can go for main harbours is Hamilton. Uh, they've got quite a few marinas, and also dockyard, which we're going to cover shortly. So the main marinas, uh, Captain Smokies, uh, St George's Dinghy and Sports Club, Pier 41 at Dockyard, Fairmount in Hamilton, Waterfront Marina in Hamilton, Royal Bermuda Yacht Club in Hamilton and Mills Creek. So there actually is an awful lot of facilities for the yachtsmen. Yes, yeah. yes. And there's an awful lot of boats there. Yes, yeah. yes. Of all different types of uh, fishing boats to sailing yachts and things like that. Yeah. Um, Anchorages, so Convict Bay and Powderhole on St George. Yep. And uh, there are a lot of uh, there's a lot all, of other anchorages yeah. around the island. Pretty well, you can anchor almost anywhere, really. Yeah, yeah. But there's a lot of very sheltered anchorages. Aren't yes, there? because you can you just go through a little cut and then you find a bay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's beautiful. It's beautiful, absolutely yeah. beautiful, um, absolutely stunning. Um, 
But now we go into our normal sort of fuel and propane. So fuel is available at the Rubies Downings uh, Marina Wharf uh, in St George's. Uh, that's where we filled up before we departed. Yeah. Uh, Robber Media Yacht Club in Hamilton and Pier 41 Dockyard at uh, Dockyard. Um, then when you come and check in, they'll actually give you a voucher to get your fuel duty free, but you could only use it one time. So, but what uh, we discovered was that they wouldn't actually accept it unless you were buying like um, 500 litres. Oh, I think it was gallon. 800. 800, 800 litres, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so it's actually uh, pretty well worth it. Useless, really. Yeah. yeah, and it's very expensive fuel. Oh yeah, it's uh, two, yeah, yeah, it is. It's uh, two. It's around about two um, dollars a litre at the moment. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's expensive. Yeah. There's no question about yeah. it. So if you can uh, go with full tanks and uh, you know yeah. don't fill up. Now, lovely uh, propane. Yeah, Sorry. propane. Uh, speak with Bermuda Yacht yeah. Services in Saint George. Yep. Yeah. Um, they don't uh, won't fill uh, steel um, gas cylinders. Uh, they'll only fill the uh, um, fiber glass ones. Yes. That's their policy now. Mm -hmm. So if you've got the old steel ones like we have, um, they're no good whatsoever. Uh, they've got a lovely ferry service. They do, they do. We did the ferry everywhere and it mm. was a beautiful, beautiful yeah. ride. Yeah. Yes. They basically they all go from Hamilton mm. and uh, they go all around the island and you can go all the way over to uh, the Royal Naval Dockyard by ferry, which is really quite cheap. I don't know if you can remember how much it was. But they're, they're only a couple of dollars, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, it's mm. something like that. Yes, it's not expensive. No, it's yeah. a really good boat ride, uh, and you can see it all. And also, you can go from um, dockyard to get another ferry to St George's, which yes. is wonderful. Yeah, buses. They have buses that go all around the island. That's yes. a really, really a cheap way to um, know the island yeah. and go everywhere. Yeah. So. Um, interestingly, you can't hire a car on Bermuda, and consequently, most tourists hire uh, scooters. Uh, which actually is really quite dangerous and there's somebody killed uh, nearly every week on a scooter in Bermuda. They do now have uh, these small two-seater electric cars mm -hmm. uh, which you can hire uh, from various outlets around the island but your sort of standard um, small saloon. They tax cars on their length in Bermuda mm -hmm. so the longer the car the more annual road tax you pay and uh, consequently you'll find that uh, nearly everybody has a very small car. Yeah, mm -hmm. Not very many big cars there, no. Yeah. Supermarkets. So supermarkets, they have uh, summer, summer, summers, the supermarket at St. George, yeah. the marketplace and Lindo's Family Foods. Yeah. All of them are really good. Uh, you have everything you can find if you want to find them. Marketplace and Lindo's is quite a, the big the supermarket, big supermarket aren't they? is the most, yeah. Yeah, yeah. most used ones. But uh, it is expensive, guys. You know, you're going to find, you're going to spend a lot of money. On yeah, you could there. get a bottle of red wine for about $23. That's at the mm. bottom cheapest uh, thing. And a bottle or a pint of uh, milk is $5, if I remember right. Yeah, you're going to think twice uh, if you are on a healthy mm. diet like we do yeah. um, on buying fruits and vegetables because yeah. it is expensive, yeah. really, really, really expensive. Is. Yeah. 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 Uh, regarding chandries, there's quite a lot of chandries uh, dotted around the island. They're not all, um, uh, there, there is one at um, St George's, but um, the, the other ones are really in Hamilton, which is AP Marine, PW Marine and Marine Locker. Now, we had to have a new VHF aerial put on and uh, I would have paid around about 75 euros for this VHF aerial and there it cost 150 so that just kind of like puts it into perspective yeah that you don't really want to buy anything no. unless you need to unless buy it. You need yeah. To. yeah everything is so expensive yes. yeah so hardware stores uh, Gorham's and uh, Master's Home yep you can buy uh, pretty well anything these are big sort of DIY places uh, with you know everything from um, brushes to paints to you know doors and windows and things like that but uh, you know that is an opportunity if you need something yeah. so maker uh, well uh, now uh, with there is a company called ocean sales in st george's uh, run by a guy called chris he used to be doyle sales but um, for some reason they've taken the franchise away uh, we had a terrible experience uh, terrible where, experience um, <clears throat> to be honest uh, we had some cell repairs done um, we, we got a quote for the repairs uh, when we arrived in um, the Azores and they said it would be around about 300 uh, euros to, re 
repair some bam pockets. But um, we got charged uh, over two thousand dollars for the repairs. So we, we, we got asked, completely ripped off. And, yeah. and we asked uh, for the coat before he fixed the sails about three yeah. or four times, and yeah, he yeah. never gave us so, a coat. And at some point, he gave us the sails, you know, in the bill. Yeah. Uh, so moving on, uh, yeah. boat yards, uh, Bermuda Yacht Service, uh, Services uh, in St George's is kind of like the key place where you get most things or they'll introduce you to somebody or they'll get something done for you. Apparently there is a travel lift there, I haven't been able to find it, 35 tonne uh, travel lift at St George's Boatyard but, but there is one at Mills Creek Marina which is a 30 tonne lift and at Spa Yard uh, in Dockyard they've got a 70 tonne travel lift. So now we go on to what to see and what to do in Bermuda. It's lots of things to do. Yeah, absolutely. So you can't miss to go to the dockyard. No, it's a historical uh, dockyard uh, by the Royal Navy, uh, dating back a couple of centuries. It's absolutely beautiful. It was home to the America's Cup uh, four years ago, so there's a little bit of uh, that sort of uh, recent history there. Yes. But it is absolutely it's stunning. It's beautiful, stunning. Yeah, yeah. Really, really nice. And yeah. we couldn't see uh, everything because everything was closed during yeah. COVID. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it is. It beautiful. is absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Well worth uh, going to have a look at. Yeah. Um, Hamilton is the capital. Beautiful uh, it, town. Yeah, it's a beautiful yeah. town. If you can go there by ferry, you have a beautiful arrival because yes. it's every all the buildings yeah. are yellow, isn't yeah. it? So yeah. it's, uh, it's, it's gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Uh, well worth a visit. Uh, to go around the, the, the town there. Uh, Gibbs Hill Lighthouse is the tallest lighthouse on the uh, uh, on the island and uh, you can actually go up it and have a look out at the top. Now the one thing that we absolutely loved is the railway trail. We loved, we did the whole thing, the, the whole mm. trail, uh, walking obviously mm. and the, it is the scenery is just stunning. Yeah. The colours, the water, of the, yeah. yeah, it's just so beautiful, so beautiful. So for around about 20 years, Bermuda yeah. had a railway line uh, and then they uh, decided that it was getting too expensive to maintain. And so they boxed it all up and sent it off to India. Now, it, they left the trail behind. Yeah. And, and this, more recently, um, over the last five years, they've been putting in a lot more bridges that go yeah. across all the uh, sort of inlets which yes. were there. Uh -huh. So when they took all the trestles away, they left the piles, piers in the water, mm -hmm. and now they're actually putting bridges on there so you can walk across it. And it's absolutely stunning. Stunning, isn't it? stunning. Yeah. It's yeah. beautiful, yeah. beautiful. Yeah. You can't look, you, can't, you have to go and do this. Yeah. yeah. It goes it, through cuts, it yeah. goes through It's tunnels. around 22 miles, if I yeah. remember yeah. right. Absolutely yeah. fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they do have some beautiful beaches if you want to go to the beach. Mm -hmm. uh, the two most popular ones probably are Clearwater Beach and Horseshoe Bay Beach. And these are like curved beaches and they are coral beaches. So they've got that nice pink glow. Mm -hmm. um, if you're into more recent history uh, from um, uh, the last war, for example, there's a lot of uh, fortifications. Uh, during the World War II, Bermuda was really fortified, although it was never attacked. attacked. And uh, there's some beautiful uh, forts there to go and look at. So, St yeah. George's is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, very, very old. It was the original settlement. Mm -hmm. It used to be the original cruise port terminal as well, but um, the ship's got too big to get too big to get to that. Uh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, they, they. But they it is a beautiful be... little, little. Yeah, town. absolutely yeah. stunning. And another place to go is Flats. Flats, Flats was stunning, yes. wasn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Yes. Couldn't ask for anything more, really. No. Lovely. So, connections. Yeah, Airport International to America and the UK. Yeah, they've just had a new airport built. Mm -hmm. It's got five stands now. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's really big. And in the old days, the old airport used to be like going into a living room and then there was a picture of the Queen up and things like that. It was really fantastic, absolutely lovely, it really was. Yeah. We we loved our time in Bermuda we and the people it. are so nice as the well. The people are they? very nice, they are very helpful, they are very, very, yeah. very friendly, they yeah. try to help you in any way they can. Um, and as we said, you know, the colours of uh, of the all the houses and because of the white roofs is mm. just stunning, stunning. Mm. I really love Bermuda. But the only downside of Bermuda is it's so damn it's expensive. Expensive, yes, um, yes. It really is expensive. Yes. Prepare your pockets before yeah. you go. <laughs> and um, the parent, they, they don't pay any income tax um, on their wages in Bermuda, but everything is taxed when it arrives on the quay. So consequently, you know, things just cost a lot more mm -hmm. than you would be expecting. Yeah, but I want to go there again for sure. Yeah, oh no, undoubtedly. Yeah. Uh, it is the most fantastic uh, sort of Caribbean, but it's not in the Caribbean. 
Yes. It's not in the Caribbean, but it's sort of Caribbean island, isn't yeah. it? Absolutely yeah. wonderful. We absolutely loved it. Yeah. And we've got a, a, a friend, of a Scots called Palma, who lives there as well. Yeah. So uh, we will be going. Yes. So. Thank you for listening to our channel. Just a reminder that you can see our adventure on YouTube at Sailing Ocean Fox. Yes, they are episodes 118 to 123. I will put the link in the description below. So those are all the programs that we shot yes, in Bermuda. In Bermuda yes. You can listen to Destination Sailing Channel as a podcast. Just search for the channel on your preferred podcast platform. Yes. Next week we will be off to the to Portimão in Portugal, yeah. at the south coast of Portugal. And do we love it down here? Yeah, we do. Yeah, no, we're picking all the places we really like, don't we? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is Simon and Carla from Sailing Ocean Fox on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and all the major podcast platforms. Yes. Until next week, fair winds whenever you are sailing. Bye for now. Bye.